Welcome to building a user interface in Dynamo. Dynamo now has the ability to show user interfaces through the Dynamo player and people have been building them with XAML packages and um, uploading them. This is just a small collection that I use um, but they're quite easy to build um, and this this one all, all it really does is just take a, a list of sh sheets um, display it in, in the player um, and once you select the sheet from the drop down it'll send uh, the payload to the Dynamo script and it's quite quite simplistic but for a lot of users who are intimidated by all the nodes and opening up a Dynamo script it, it is really useful to get um, a lot of your team using Dynamo without them really being intimidated and you can kind of see your payload here and then you can do whatever you want with it with your with your the rest of your nodes um, and I'll show you here using this uh, zero touch node which w I created on on a previous video I think getting started with um, with Dynamo zero touch um, and I'll use a user in, uh, a user control XAML file, but I'm actually using going to change it to a Windows um, file. The D in this design um, is for cell phones and iPads, but we're just running it straight in Revit, so we won't need any of that. The 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 next part is we want to make sure we've got the right references. Um, make sure we got the XAML reference. Inside of Visual Studios, you can drag and drop items such as buttons, um, and you can change the the name, your button. This was for cross-referencing it, uh, the content, what what the user will actually see. And there's a lot of settings in here, and the great part about this Visual Studio application is uh, for XAML is you can just kind of drag and drop, grip things how you want things to hold onto your 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 um, view, uh, name it for your code, uh, name it for your user, uh, there's color, you can kind of get things looking, you know, to what your company company really likes without doing a lot of coding. Um, here I'll just drag and drop a, a combo box, which is a, a drop down list, a, a text box here, which allow the user to kind of type in whatever they like. And and just and and send it to to Dynamo sliders, which are real popular in Dynamo. I think the first class I ever took uh, that introduced me to to Dynamo used a slider. Um, and most of most of the code here is generated right on the fly. Uh, and there's there's a, a massive amount of different things that you can do. Um, one thing that I'll try to do is hook this text box to my slider, but I'll label everything that way I can identify it in in my C# -sharp code here by naming name, naming them exactly what they are slider, combo box, and text box. But you can really name them anything uh, just as long as you remember uh, what they're called. Right, I'll double check everything, but really there there there's an endless amount of 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 ways that you can design this. It's it's really how much time you have, but I'm going to take out the text uh here and replace it with the, with binding it with my slider. The text will equal uh binding um element name, which will be the slider that that I just labeled. Um and I will give it the uh, path to equal the value. And then we want to, uh, every time somebody changes it, we'll do an update. Um, and we'll trigger it when the properties are changed. So every time somebody slides it, uh, it'll automatically change our text. So the next great part about um, the XAML uh, is when you double click on 
an element or a button, it'll just generate the code behind. So for the OK and cancel, um, I want a couple of, of methods that are self-generated. Uh, for the OK button, it's um, I want to be able to hit cancel or an OK. Uh, I need to change my user control to a Windows or else my code won't run. Uh, and the display di uh, a dialog um, result or the, the dialog result if, if somebody hits OK I want it to continue on to my code so I'll hit true. Um, if somebody hits cancel it'll be false and they'll just close out of the program. So this is kind of what's running in the the CS or the, the, the little program behind that. And this is my main program so this is uh, my my node, uh, my Dynamo node here. So the first thing um, that we'll get is what what is returned to us, and it'll be a list object. And what I'll name this is the UI interface, um, and this is what the Dynamo node will get inputted, which will be a double for a minimum and a double for a maximum, and then a list of objects. So whatever the the user wants, sheets, element IDs whatever. We'll just take whatever they want um, and we'll get that return so whatever whatever they built we'll, we'll get a list of items and return them all to the user with an empty with it first by starting with an empty list um, and then my test UI we'll, we'll name it window in this program um, so we'll, we'll build a new object of it uh, and we'll add the window slider, uh, and we'll we'll get the um, the maximum and assign it to the maximum that the user wanted, and we'll get the minimum and assign it to the minimum of whatever the user uh, inputted in our Dynamo node. I'll get the Windows combo box uh, item source, which will be anything that the user inputted um, into their list, sheets, text, um, element IDs. Um, and then I'll show the window um, dialog by just windows.show dialog. Um, and I'll double check to make sure it has a value. So if uh, exclamation is not if it does not have have value or my um, dialog box does, is also doesn't have a um, second value it'll automatically close the next part is I will send the combo box um, selected item to data and the var is kind of a variable that um, kind of a wild card uh, we don't know exactly what the user is going to send in there so um, and we'll go ahead and add it to our, our list uh, that it'll return so now it's not empty um, and we'll add our text box as well so uh, the list that will return is the windows dot text box dot text um, and you can kind of see the the text box is the text is right there, um, and right it, it's displaying text box, but but really um, the dot text is is this dot text right here, um, and when they input something they'll change that value, um, and 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 put it put it right back into the return value that we've added. And we'll add one last thing to our list return, um, which will be our slider. Uh, and we'll just grab the value, and uh, we'll, we'll instead of le leaving it as a as a double, we'll we'll leave it as a as a string. Um, make sure that code, all the squiggly signs are 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 fixed. Um, last thing, it's it's it wants me to return something, which is the list of objects, which 
now we've added all our lists. Uh, so we'll return our list return um, object. Uh, build it or compile it. No, no errors. We'll run Revit. Look for Dynamo here. Open up a uh, a file uh, and add our DLL. Uh, you can find it in your project um, under bin debug. Uh, and there's your DLL, and then you find your my test uh, under your inner your 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 method, and and you find you find that all the all the things that we we added there. Are on the left hand side and you can kind of just build it. Um, our list of, of sheets are here. We send in our, our, our sheet, type in some stuff, um, move around our slider a little bit, type it in here for um, and send it in and boom our payload is, is sent and is ready for, for our application. Thank you for watching.